Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a really exciting day. Um, I am getting married. Uh, yeah, I, I can't believe it. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, I just wanted to film today just to remember, just to remember the day. It's not a huge wedding. We are in the middle of a pandemic. Um, we actually, um, moved our wedding back, um, cause it was going to be next year on the same date, September, on the same date of July 29th, which is our anniversary. And we really wanted to have our wedding on that day. Um, and then we found out it was a Thursday. So we decided that we were going to, um, move the wedding, the party and still get married on the same day. Um, and then when I was telling my mom about our new plans, she was like, you know that you have an anniversary next week. And I was like, you're right. I do. Um, so I asked Kyle if he wanted to get married next week. And so that is what I've been doing all last week was planning for today. Um, and yeah, I am really excited. I'm nervous because I haven't done my makeup in maybe a week. Um, so I'm hoping that today is a good makeup day because I'm doing it myself. I just got my hair done yesterday. Um, and got all of my new stuff set up. I probably look different. I have a light over there. Um, very cheap and expensive light, but I mean, it, my window was just not cutting it anymore. Um, got it. My mom got it for me. Um, not my window. My mom didn't get my window for me. My mom got my light, or she showed me it. Um, so yeah, I have some new products. I'm not going to be talking about the products much today. I will be doing another um, kind of like get ready with me style. Um, so you'll see a bunch of new things um, that I had filmed um, doing uh, like a first impressions type a video and I realized after I was done filming that I had my camera flipped around the wrong way so I was filming backwards. <laughs> it was a very very uh, upsetting day but that is all in the past and today I I get married today and that's all I'm gonna think about that I'm so excited. I don't know if I'm going to like do a whole like um walk through all of my products kind of thing um because i want to focus on my makeup and make sure i don't butcher it so yeah but i just wanted to kind of document document the day god dang it all right so i did get another new brow product um i had got this one and i've already tried it it's okay. The powders are good. The, um, uh, brow wax. I don't know. I've never, this is the first brow wax I've ever tried. So I'm kind of unfamiliar with it. Um, but yeah, I don't think it holds my brows very well. And I only have half a brow to hold. Can't even do that. Kyle is going, he is out of the house right now. He is going to go get, make me a bouquet over at his work. Cause he works, uh, he works at a grocery store and he has a lot of experience in the floral department and he really likes making arrangements. I've always wanted him to do something with it. I've always wanted him to do something with flower arrangements I just don't think he thinks that he's good enough or that he's not gonna make enough money or what is stopping him from doing it but I know he enjoys it but it's not a huge deal he is making my bouquet and then we're going to go over to my mom's we had to pick a park right to go and get it done at because I didn't want to do just a Justice of the Peace wedding. Because I wanted my mom to at least be there. And his parents get a chance to be there too. So we're all just meeting at a park. My aunt is ordained. So she's going to be performing the ceremony. I'm probably, I think I might have to set these brows with powder. This and I did get a new one. I already tried it. I like bought it and then went to my bathroom and my work and put it on just to try it they both i don't know if it's because i have bangs or if like my forehead is oily and i don't know 
if it's oily or not. Hey, Kazi. Um, but brow products break up like nothing else. No other makeup really breaks up on me except brow products. So I don't know if it is the products I'm using or if I need to set them. I said those are pretty good. Yeah. I'm so excited to get married. I've known that Kyle and I were going to get married from the, um, I think it was like a month into dating, I knew immediately that he was going to be my partner for life. Um, I just, I even had like a feeling on our first date. I got a good molecules order. I'm starting to break out just a little bit. And I'm not quite sure. I got a couple of products from them. This is nice. And then I got this for free. They sent it. It's a silicone free priming moisturizer. Feels nice. But yeah. I did something in my uh in the new stuff that I got. It's just making me break out the smallest amount. I don't know if you can tell. Um what's wrong, Bubby? Hmm? What is it? Yeah, I knew almost right away that I was gonna marry Kyle. I just, I don't know. When you have had a lot of, I'm sure a lot of people are like this, when you have had enough experiences to where you know how you want to be treated and you know what you want in a partner when you see it you kind of just know that oh this is this is the kind of person I need um and I knew almost immediately um once we met in person I was like oh yeah that that guy that's what I want I think I'm going to clean my brows up just a little bit just a wee little bit maybe if I can find the right brush I think this is one of the best brows I've ever done. Probably. Close. Yeah, I'll just take... This is what I'll, I'll do. I'm going to make a pile of things for touch-up later. That's what I'm going to do. Because I'm smart. I honestly couldn't tell you what I'm going to do with my eyeballs. My dress for today is... Um, white with blue flowers kyle helped me pick it out pick it out yesterday um because i mean i wasn't gonna get a super expensive dress for today when i already you know spent all my money on my wedding dress for um like our party wedding and that we moved to uh next september um yeah i wasn't gonna spend you know that much money on a second wedding dress so um, after I got my hair done, I went to Goodwill and found two options, and then I went to, um, Maurice's and on one option, and out of the three that I brought home, we only liked one of them, and it was like a light periwinkle, um, like skyish blue dress. The back of the dress was see-through, so we were gonna have to go out and get me a cardigan because I didn't have one, and, um, so we went out and got my cardigan and then um and then uh found another dress at Kohl's and if that didn't work out then we I was just gonna stick with the with the blue dress but luckily it did and it was um it everything was good I honestly can't tell you what I'm doing with my eyeballs because I don't I don't know I'm going in really light with everything today because I don't know what I want to do. I am really thankful for today. It's been a really stressful week and this is all I've been looking forward to doing. I'm really tired. This will be, we've dated for four years and this today, our wedding day, will be the first day our parents meet each other. I know, right? Like I said, I'm just trying to concentrate so my wedding makeup isn't shite. 
I'm, ex I'm really happy to be filming though because I edited an entire video and then it like the file got corrupted and when I was exporting it it just disappeared and I was very upset I was very upset because I really don't want to miss uploads and it was something really important to me and then I've just been struggling apparently my phone doesn't have enough memory to keep all the videos that I have and I can't figure out a way to get my videos from my computer um, without it being directly plugged in to each other and I can't email the videos to me because the files are too big and I'm just I'm really struggling and when those files got deleted and I was like on the verge of a breakdown Kyle was there and he was my calming force as he always is my rock my guide my I couldn't I I can't explain anybody who's married probably probably knows what I'm trying to say but I can't growing up with some growing up as a child of divorce you look at marriage very differently and for a long time I didn't think not that it is a goal but I didn't think that this was ever in my path and not only because I was a child of divorce, but knowing who I was as a person, I didn't think that I would be able to connect with somebody the way spouses needed to connect. I didn't think that I was capable of doing that. And I did. And childhood, adolescent, Haley, inside. She shook. <laughs> she is surprised and proud of us. And I'm just proud of myself and I'm proud of, I'm proud of Kyle and I for, I don't even know really. Being patient with each other, allowing space to grow and laugh I have never he's the funniest person I know and I will I will fight anybody like I if I could give him everything that I think he deserves I think that he could be like a comedy writer I don't know if he could do stand-up um but I think that he would be a tremendous comedy writer um or just anything with comedy he's just so smart and like I said the funniest funniest person I know I need to get back to my makeup. And I can't cry while I'm doing my makeup, YouTube. God. I know my mom has a bunch of secret things planned today. I'm glad that I'll have this waterproof mascara. I'm sure my mom is trying to make me cry. I have to say that turned out rather nicely. Let's do the other eye. Z edges. I don't know what I'm gonna put in the in the quanta. I'm gonna come back to the eyes and do my face. So have all my stuff. I think I'm gonna go for a light coverage today. I'm just going to like conceal under my eyes and just like a couple of other places. And then if I need some heavier coverage, I'll go in with my milk foundation. Cause I haven't found that perfect like medium dewy coverage yet and I'm going to be looking for that for my actual like wedding party wedding day. I'm hoping by that time I'll be able to like fully do like the wedding makeup that I want. I'll probably even do my 
um, wedding parties makeup too. Maybe with the help of my best friend, who's also good at makeup. I just feel, I love doing makeup and it relaxes me and I feel like that would be a good relaxer for me on my wedding day. Is just doing people's makeup. I might be wrong, but this side always gets, it's just, that side always gets sharper and I don't know why. I haven't done my makeup with the sponge in a really long time. That This is the first time I'm using this sponge, so. So far I'm pleased with the eyes. I'm really liking this concealer. It's the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus. Yeah, Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Light Ivory. It's the second to lightest shade. Which is almost an exact match for my skin, which I think is rather weird. Dry just a little bit. I can't believe I'm getting married today. I mean, I can't believe it, but I can't believe it. You know? My mom and my aunt have been texting me, like, are you nervous? And I. When you. I have to honestly say, I'm not nervous. But when you think about your wedding day, you think that you're gonna be nervous. You think that you're gonna be like this ball of anxiety that's like freaking out over every little thing. And that's honestly just not how I feel. I am happy to be here. I'm happy that today is the day that I finally legally get to call Kyle my husband um, because I've called him my husband for the last four years now. And now it's actually like, you know, paperwork and things, but He's always been the one ever since ever since the beginning of a relationship I knew and I I don't know I'm not nervous I'm ready and yeah I'm just happy and hoping that my makeup turns out okay that's all and that's it and then I will move on other things but yeah um no I'm not nervous I am excited it looks like I might be nervous because I'm like fidgeting but it's mainly just the excitement that's making me like fidget um so excitement and nervousness kind of look alike when you think about it like physically like I don't know you know people tend to like move around and be all jittery and stuff. Hmm. It's interesting. Never thought about that. I wonder if he's nervous. I don't think he's nervous. I know I said that was gonna be the last thing I concealed, but I lied. Okay? I lied. <sighs> I can't be like going into great detail about how amazing Kyle is and how everything I really I wanted to film this just so I could have record of everything and today and I know I'm not talking much but I feel like if I talk then I'm just going to cry because <laughs> I I am so happy I cannot explain it I'm just overwhelmed with happiness <laughs> and I know later I will be doing a lot of crying so don't want to cry now so far, this is like one of the best concealers I've ever used <laughs> from the drugstore. I've used, uh, I can't remember. I have had a CoverGirl one, that's not for me. Okay. I'm going to start doing some bronzing. My highlight's done. I'm gonna finish my face off and stuff. Tell me about your guys' wedding stories. Like, when did you know? Like, that's what I want. I want to know when you guys knew your significant other was the person you wanted to marry. And how, if you proposed to them, how did you ask? If you guys want, I can do a proposal, like, story time. And I'll tell you how we both um, uh, proposed to each other. We each did our own proposal. Um, 
and yeah I just want to know today is all about love it's all about weddings what do you look for in a significant other what do you look for um or what do you want to bring to a relationship all about love when I was in high school all I would date was like guys like Victor Crumb like if you guys know Harry Potter like the uh I, I dated jocks like jocks not like the kind of Victor Crumb's kind of sweet but like I dated jocks that were like uh, full of themselves and not attentive to me and anything that I needed <laughs> and yeah I mean I was in high school but I carried those that stuff into college with me for the first couple years and and so yeah I was dating like Victor Crumb guys and I realized I was like oh no I spilled and I was just like tired of it <laughs> and I, I was realizing that I need, didn't need to date Victor Crumbs. I needed an Arthur Weasley and that is exactly who Kyle is. If I had to pick one like couple that I feel like we are, it's definitely Arthur and Molly. Um, to me, they are marriage, family, relationship goals. Like I love... I love their dynamic. It was always just so grounded and peaceful to me to watch them interact in the movies. Like, they're my favorite characters. Um, and that is what I wanted. I wanted, I wanted to be loved and taken care of like Arthur loved Molly. And I have to say that that is exactly what I got. I, he is exactly what I needed and what I wanted. I'm trying not to overdo it with the creams because I am going to set this with powder since we are meeting at a park and it's like, I want to say it's like almost one now and I were not getting, our ceremony isn't until seven. <laughs> so I have a long while to wait. Um, so I'm definitely going to be setting my cheeks down with the powder. Um, powder version of everything. Alright, we're gonna go in with my powder bronzer and just set all this. I'm probably gonna look a little crazy, but it's gonna mellow out by the time we have our ceremony, so I'm not too worried about it. I hope my sisters and my mom find a love like mine. I just, I hope anybody who's in my family finds a love that is good, that is consistent. I think that was one of the hardest things for me, and like still now, like to overcome a lot of preconceived things that society and TV shows and books even romanticize romance. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but there's a lot of things that are very, very mundane and normal and everyday about being with your partner that it isn't exciting. It isn't thrilling. It isn't heart pounding, uh, ripping each other's clothes off all day, every day. I mean, some of them, yeah. I mean, I guess some people are like that, but um, it's for the majority of people, it's very normal. It's very day to day just being in each other's presence constantly and not getting annoyed with each other and um being able to communicate and <sighs> dudes i love blush I've got to say I'm really impressed with the makeup I've done. I don't know if it looks crazy because I've never filmed with a light before so it could just be washing me out and making me look amazing. Um, but no, I think I look great. I think I do. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> mascara. And then lips. Now be done. 
I saw this like I don't know if it was a TikTok or something, but it was I was just like scrolling. I don't have TikTok, but you know TikTok show up everywhere. Um, it was a girl and she was like crying because she like I don't know what she was doing. I don't know how hard she had to be pressing this. She like ripped all of her eyelashes out of her eyes, and I was like, "How did you do that? Like I don't I don't understand. I don't like you'd have to be like pulling and like going like that or something." I don't understand. I've never seen that happen. I've seen like a whole bunch of videos of like people burning off their hair. But I've never seen anybody like do that. Yeah, no, it's supposed to rain today. It's a 50-50 chance, but I was talking to Kyle. I was like, well, it's supposed to be good luck if it rains on your wedding day, I'm pretty sure. But no one ever says that it's like bad luck if it doesn't rain on your wedding day, which I thought was weird. And then he asked if there was such a thing as neutral luck. And I was like, I don't know. Do you guys think there's such a thing as neutral luck? I feel like, I feel like there's neutral karma. So I don't know why there wouldn't be neutral luck, you know? I really gotta say, but just like my makeup is seriously amazing today. I think it's because I'm filming. You guys are giving me luck. Yeah. Wow. I look stunning. Stunning. I'm stunning, man. Other one. I don't think I'll have to touch up my eyeshadow. At least I hope I don't have to touch up my eyeshadow. I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna bring any of that. We are on to lips and then we'll be done and I will get dressed. And yeah, I think I'm gonna go with my favorite shade. Um, if I can find it. Because it's not a gloss. Bro, where are you at? Ugh. Come on. Of course, it's the one that fell out. Just the one. Um, this is one of my favorite colors, the Wet n Wild Cat Suit in Give Me Mocha. And I probably will bring a lip gloss with me. I feel gorgeous. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to put the gloss on right now, but... Okay, that is all for my wedding makeup. I still can't believe I am getting married and what is it like if it's 136 hours I'm not good at math that's another reason why I'm marrying God <laughs> makes my math man yeah but yeah this is my wedding makeup and thank you guys for watching this I appreciate it I know it was kind of like all over the place um like I said I just wanted to document the day and um yeah I just wanted you guys to experience this with me um I will probably um do another um like video like this when I'm on my wedding day um maybe a vlog style maybe I'll have my mom film a lot of it um yeah I don't know yet but I do know that I am elated is that the right word elated Super excited, happy. Yeah. I am so, like, thank you guys for giving me all the good luck for this. Um, because, yeah, I, I needed it. <laughs> I haven't done my makeup in a week and I was really nervous. <laughs> um, yeah, I cannot wait for my wedding in a couple hours. And he's gonna look super handsome and yeah. It's gonna be a good day. I, yeah, yeah, today's today's a good day. If you guys like this video, um, go check out my other videos. I have one about um, the Color Drain Safari palette and the second one is a depotting video of a bunch of, of me destroying makeup. Um, so if those things are interesting to you, go check those two out and I will see you guys later. Bye.